let's uh, talk a little history today. A day that most of us remember from our high school history class is 1066, the Battle of Hastings. That's when uh, William, Duke of Normandy, battled Harold, King of England, and he won, and he assumed the throne of England. He came to be known as William the Conqueror, which in fact was a better name than William the Bastard. He had been uh, given that name because the fact was that his parents were not married. Well, it turns out that that was not sort of a bad moniker for him because uh, William the Conqueror turned out to be a pretty cruel guy. His reign was marked by violence and, and cruelty. Uh, and uh, interestingly enough, he spent most of his life back in Normandy from where he ruled England. Anyway, it was in Normandy that during a battle with the French, he was hurt. Now, there are different accounts of exactly what, what happened there. But uh, according to 12th century historian William of Malsbury, the king was very corpulent and uh, he had a, a protruding belly that deformed his royal person. <laughs> well, supposedly it was his overweight that led to his demise, because during this battle, his protruding stomach hit against the protruding front of the, the saddle, the so-called pommel, and that resulted in his intestine bursting. Well, we know that he lingered in pain for weeks before dying, but for various reasons, his funeral kept being put off, and uh, his body started to decompose and uh, started to expand in size. It started to become bloated. Uh, this, of course, is because of the gases that build up upon putrefaction. Well, finally, when they decided that uh, it was time to bury him, he would not fit into his stone sarcophagus. He was already obese, and plus he now became bloated. And when they uh, tried to stuff him into the uh, sarcophagus, his belly exploded, and it pelted everyone around with a vile fluid. Terrible smell. Today we would recognize the smell as putrescine and cadaverine compounds that form when proteins break down. Well, the uh, putrefaction putrefication is due to the breakdown of various body components due to the action of bacteria. Now, normally, bacteria are confined to our skin and to our intestines, and they don't venture out of the intestine. This is the microbiome that has become so famous because we talk about it being related to health. But the immune system keeps the bacteria inside of the gut. However, after death, the immune system no longer works, and the bacteria from the gut begin to escape into the bloodstream, from there into the tissues, and they begin to digest the tissues. And this results in the formation of putrescine and cadaverine, as well as gases. Those gases can be methane and hydrogen sulfide, which also is very smelly, and ammonia, also with a distinct smell. So it is certainly possible that as these gases build up, enough pressure is created for the abdomen to burst open. Whether or not this really happened to William the Conqueror, or whether the story was made up to make his death seem like fitting to someone who was cruel in, in life, this, of course, we will never know. But the fact is, it is possible that uh, William the Conqueror's gut, because of his obesity and the buildup of, of gases, actually did explode. And that, for today, is our Kappa Joe.